This is a Ruger LCP2 chambered in 22 long rifle. It's a fantastically compact little gun, but still very easy to shoot only to low recoil and light direct force. Now if you already own a 380 Auto version of the LCP, then you know there's quite a bit of recoil and it's not so much fun to practice with. This makes a great training opportunity where you can get good trigger squeezes, good sight pictures, rounds down range. Alternatively, if you don't like the recoil of 380 at all, or you can't really manipulate the side on a larger gun, it's a great alternative. Now, the 22LR version features a two and three quarter inch stainless steel barrel, and it's a tilt barrel blowback. So that barrel drops down and makes feeding that much easier. This feeds from a 10 round magazine, giving you honest 10 plus one capacity. And we're able to fit those rounds in the same length as this LCP magazine with this patent pending floor plate design. Now, making this even easier to manipulate are these slide cocking ears located on the back of the slide. This just gives a little surface for your fingers to purchase on. You don't have to squeeze really hard to grip the slide and get the gun into action. Very low recoil, nice easy trigger. This is a secure action trigger, just like the bigger center fire guns, crisp trigger break, clean reset, and still has last round hold open. Is a training pistol, this features a new manual external safety. Push forward to fire requires just a nice firm click. So you can easily push it to fire, but require deliberate action to return it back to safe. Additionally, there's a magazine disconnect, making sure the gun won't fire with the magazine removed. It's no substitute for safe gun handling, but it's a nice layer of security. Viridian Red Laser that fits the LCP2LR, available on Shop Ruger, makes a great addition to this small pistol. For more information on the Ruger LCP2 chambered in 22LR, visit Ruger.com or your local firearms retailer. New in the Ruger Mark IV lineup, is the attractive Mark IV Competition model. The Competition features a 6 and 7 eighths inch bowl barrel with the slab sides. It is a solid stainless steel one piece barreled receiver and the lower receiver, the grip frame, is also a solid CNC machined piece of stainless steel. The Mark IV Competition, like all Mark IVs, features an ambidextrous safety. It also has the fully adjustable sights and with the barreled receiver combo, the sights are fixed, so there's no reciprocating slide. It's inherently more accurate than, it, than reciprocating slide designs. The Mark IV Competition features target grips with the thumb rest that completely fill your hand and give you a comfortable grip. And of course, it features the Mark IV takedown system. Starting with the positive magazine ejection, we remove the magazine, place the ambidextrous safety on safe, drop the bolt, and in the back we'll press the takedown button. That allows you to rotate the upper receiver up and off of the grip frame. You can then remove the bolt for cleaning. The gun is completely disassembled, and reassembly is just as quick and easy as it came apart. The new Mark IV Competition, available at your local retailer. Gallup, captain of Team Smith & Wesson here with the newest 22 LR from Smith & Wesson, the SW22 Victory. Now this gun is a lot of fun to shoot. It has a lot of heft with a stainless steel bull barrel and it has a lot of other great features as well. Let's start with the sights. First off, it comes with fiber optic sights, both front and rear sights, and the rear sight is completely adjustable for windage and elevation. The gun also comes with a Picatinny rail adjustment so you can mount your favorite optic. 
The grip is very comfortable. It comes with a textured back strap and front strap, as well as removable side panel grips, so you can get that great grip you're looking for on the gun. It also has a textured magazine release button and an adjustable trigger stop, so you can get the perfect shot every time. Now one thing that sets the SW22 apart from its competitors is the fact that it's so easy to take down. Just one screw loosens everything up and you can take this gun apart, change out for an aftermarket barrel and easily clean it. The SW22 Victory is an excellent entry level target pistol. It's great for new shooters, youth shooters and women and it's also an excellent gun for steel challenge and even bullseye. The SW22 Victory has been tested for reliability with a variety of 22 ammunition and also comes with two 10 round magazines. For more information on the new SW22 Victory, visit smith-wesson.com. The Ruger Standard Pistol started Sturm Ruger in 1949, an absolutely fabulous classic design, still one of our best-selling guns today. But with the emergence of the SR series pistols, the SR9, SR40, it was time for an SR22. This is a compact, lightweight rimfire pistol that is designed to be as user-friendly as you could imagine and it's designed to be reliable with just about any kind of ammunition. First off, it comes with two grips one narrow grip and one larger grip. They can be just pulled off and switched out depending on your hand size. It comes with two magazines and each magazine is supplied with two base plates, one standard base plate and one of these uh, finger ledge base plates. The gun itself is full of features. It has cocking serrations front and rear. We have ambidextrous decocker safety, ambidextrous magazine release. It has three dot sights fully adjustable at the rear and the rear blade is also reversible to a plain black blade. It has a Picatinny rail on the bottom for mounting lights, lasers, uh, other accessories, and one of the easiest takedowns in the industry. Just flip this lever up, pull the slide back, lift it up, and off. And this new SR-22 pistol from Ruger was designed to work with all types of ammunition, not just high velocity ammunition. So to show that, we're going to load up some magazines with some standard velocity here. And notice we have a button that is easy on your thumbs for loading. And then we'll load up the second mag, two different types of high velocity. And we'll give it a go. Now the second magazine 